Say hello to my little shield friend. <laughs> no, <laughs> not for puby. But anyway, what is that at the back of his bed? Is that a copy of Xi Jinping's fort? <laughs> anyway, not the little shill we're looking for. So please say hello to my new little shill friend. If you clicked on this video, you're probably wondering what the title is all about. Welcome to Shill Busters. Reloaded. That's right, guys. I'm back. Major trip. Mm. Totally awesome trip. Mm. Bigger trip. Mm. Small trip. Short, small trip, short, small trip, short, 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 little trip, short, little trip, short, little trip. Short, little trip. And I have so much space, I can't even, can't even touch the chair in front of me. So there's this little YouTube channel called Trip Bidden, and I'm not really sure if this is the guy's name or if it's just a random channel name, but who actually gives a shit? All I care about is this dude's videos are like a little collection of the Chinese Communist Party's soft power propaganda talking points. This guy has some interesting video titles such as Foreigners won't believe what China is building. Why aren't there more homeless people in China? Why do African nations love China? Is USA or China a police state? And it goes on and on and on like this. <laughs> you get the point. This guy pretends to be unbiased and neutral in his videos, but he always ends up at pretty much the same little conclusion. And that little conclusion being, America bad, China good. His video titled, Why aren't there more homeless people in China? is ridiculous. And it's actually quite patronizing towards the homeless people in China and in the USA. He walks around Beijing's tourist areas smugly reeling off statistics and articles about the USA's homeless and drug problem and proudly coming to the conclusion that there are no homeless people in China. He unfairly contrasts images of Beijing's tourist areas with images of downtrodden communities in the USA. If he wasn't being so goddamn dishonest and biased towards China, he may have got off his little ass and explored the reasons why the Chinese government actually hides its homeless population. But anyway, today's video isn't about this because I've already spoken about this to death on this channel. In today's episode of Shillbusters, I'm going to look at his video titled, I bleep the Chinese government, but... <laughs> so let's see what this little shill has to say. I want to talk about something that I see quite frequently, honestly, in these YouTube videos or in the comments, and it is this idea of, I hate the Chinese government, but I love the Chinese people. Well, I guess he's talking about the people like me and the majority of my subscribers who like the Chinese people but hate their crappy government. I wonder what other interesting observations this guy will have. <laughs> I bet you all can't wait. <laughs> I certainly can't. I don't agree with the government, but I don't want people to attack me or I don't want to seem like I'm a racist. Oh great, here we go. <laughs> he throws in that racist accusation pretty much right from the start there. I totally didn't see that one come in. Or I don't want to seem like I am uh, some kind of person that is attacking the Chinese people. Uh, a lot of people that criticize China. It also comes from news media companies, companies that are trying to distinguish between Chinese people 
and the Chinese government and say, let's hate the Chinese government and make the Chinese government look bad. But somehow there's a wall between what the Chinese government does and the people that they love the Chinese people, but hate the government. And they don't accept that those are one in the same. Basically, these vloggers or these people are racist. Okay, so let's see if I understood this correctly. The Chinese people and their government are one in the same? Are they? That's absolute bollocks. The Chinese government has been really trying hard to push the narrative that this guy's perpetuating, that they and the Chinese people are inextricably linked. But how? Does a government represent a race of people? And how is it racist to hate a government? I mean, holy shit. I don't like the North Korean government. And doesn't that piece of shit dictator Kim Jong-un also say that his government and the people are the same thing? Shit. Does that mean that I actually hate South Koreans too? Who are ethnically the same as North Koreans because I despise the tyrannical North Korean regime? I'm so confused here. This guy shits on the American government all the time. So does that mean he hates all of the people that live in that country? Does that mean he hates himself because he's American? I am so confused. When mocking the Chinese government's ridiculous policies, which, by the way, were made by a few morons in the upper echelon of the party, am I also mocking the entire population of Chinese people as an ethnic group? Many critics of the Chinese government are actually ethnically Chinese, so are they also racist? In fact, the people of Taiwan are ethnically Chinese, and I'm pretty sure a huge proportion of the Taiwanese population can't stand the Chinese government. Man, those Taiwanese people are racist. And they want to say racist things, and they want to say harmful and damaging things about China, but they don't want to deal with the consequences of being honest to their audience and to themselves. You see, this whole you're racist if you criticize the CCP has been manufactured by the Chinese government to eliminate all criticism of them. Internally, they can just stifle freedom of speech, not a problem, but on an international level, they really have no power at all. So they came up with this genius idea of saying it's racist to criticize the Chinese government. Because let's face it, people cower in fear when they hear the phrase, you're a racist. <laughs> This trip guy's idea of putting the Chinese government together with the people is dangerous because it means that all Chinese people are to blame for the terrible actions of their government. But that's absolutely not true, is it? And we need to be very careful not to associate the Chinese government with the Chinese people because this could lead to unfair discrimination towards the Chinese people, not only in China, but Chinese who have fled their country to escape from their evil government. With that being said, we should never ever forfeit our critical stance of an autocratic and highly irresponsible government like the CCP. A government that wants to suppress all freedom of speech. A government that is currently persecuting the Uyghurs. A government that is threatening free and democratic Taiwan, covering up the COVID virus, militarizing the South China Sea, cracking down on Hong Kong, and so much more terrible stuff. So no, it's not racist to criticize the Chinese government because the Chinese government is not a race. And this guy is full of crap. I'll be honest with my audience. I hate the Chinese government, but I like the Chinese people because I've met some great people from China and even a fair amount of Chinese people that I know, they also can't stand their government. Do you remember this little thing called Tiananmen Square in 1989? The Chinese people rose up against their government and demanded change. Now, were those people one and the same with the CCP? Remember Hong Kong? The people there didn't want to have any draconian CCP laws introduced. Were they one and the same with the CCP? 
I've already mentioned Taiwan, but what about the protesters during China's ridiculous zero Covid lockdowns? who weren't exactly too fond of their government either, and they're all ethnically Chinese, and all of them criticize the Chinese government. <laughs> if you love someone, and you, tr you truly love someone, you're not going to go around smearing their name and creating hate towards them. It's, it's mental gymnastics where you're saying, I can love one thing or one aspect of, of the society but I'm gonna attack the other aspect of it, the government or other aspects of it, and make them look really bad. So if you truly love somebody, you will tell them the truth no matter what. Sometimes the truth hurts, like saying somebody's government sucks, but it has to be done. Now, from my experience, quite a lot of Chinese people, they do get offended when you criticize their government. And in my opinion, that's all because of the CCP's propaganda machine that works hard to suppress the Chinese people and peddles lies to them day in, day out. And then when people click on my videos and watch them or read my articles or when I do interviews and I talk about how bad China is, people that are watching it won't be able to distinguish between the Chinese people and the Chinese government. So China becomes a big umbrella for everything that the government does and everything the people do. And so when these videos go out to millions of people, presumably mostly Americans, they get this idea that China is bad and they don't distinguish between the two. And so when they see Chinese people on the streets, they think, oh, Chinese people are bad because that is the logical path that if you say China's bad, China's bad, China's bad, then I think, oh, Chinese are bad. Unfortunately, there are a few nut jobs on this planet that would attribute the disgusting things the Chinese government does to the Chinese people, which could result in anti-Asian hate. That's why it's very important to make the distinction between the two and to remind people in my videos that it's not the Chinese people's fault that they have a shitty government. Some people, they just take things too far and there are some genuinely horrible racist people out there and I've seen it here in the UK where we have some horrible groups of people who are hell-bent on getting rid of foreigners. Islam will be banned because Islam is utterly... Yes! Yes! Any yes! 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 So as a consequence then, freedom of religion, freedom of speech is also banned? Is that there should be no freedom of religion for a religion like that. They are absolutely racist. And this type of blind nationalism is disgusting. And these anti-Asian hate crimes are deplorable. But not criticizing the Chinese government isn't going to stop this. In fact, I could argue that allowing the CCP to have their way could exacerbate the situation. The CCP aren't exactly the most tolerant government out there, you know. You only have to look at their track record with gay rights and freedom of religion just to see exactly what they're all about. Many of these people who say the Chinese government is bad don't actually accept that the Chinese people have accepted this government, right? These are the people that are coming from countries that are maybe a few hundred years old saying our way is the best way and you should adopt our way. I don't think their government sucks because I think my country's system of government is far superior, but because I value freedom of speech and can't stand censorship. I hate any government that does that, including my own government. Oh shit, I guess I'm racist for hating my government, huh? <laughs> They say, oh, the Chinese government is so oppressive. And they never acknowledge that the Chinese people have accepted their government. And that they are the ones who get to decide if it's too tyrannical or too oppressive. Well, that's the thing. The average Chinese person doesn't get to decide, do they? Not in any way can they make a difference. Does their government even give them a voice? Even if they hate their government, they really don't have any way of changing it. It's hopeless. This graph he uses is hilarious. Can you actually imagine a survey going on in China, you know, where this government rules with an iron fist and they ask the people, do you trust your government? What do you think the people are gonna say? Do you think the people are gonna say, no, I hate the government, I can't stand them? 
Just imagine I take a gun, hold it to your head, and say, Hey, do you trust me? Are you going to say no? I don't think so. Anybody that says that the Chinese government is somehow not part of the Chinese society clearly has never lived here in China and clearly doesn't engage with Chinese people that often. Well, I did live in China and I did engage with Chinese people quite often and I still do. Mostly, I engage with Chinese people who hate the Chinese government. <laughs> Believe it or not. It's 96 million people that are part of, 93 million, 96 million people, something around there, that are part of the Communist Party of China, are basically there because it's expected. Because they see it has an opportunity to advance their career. They would uh, basically have these meetings and I'd ask them, oh, what'd you guys talk about? And it was always like, it was stupid. And I remember people who were not party members were joining the party and I said, why are you joining? It doesn't seem like you, like, what's the point? And they're saying, oh, I'm joining because it's for my career. So now he's painting a picture of Chinese people who don't really care about the party, but are forced to join the party to advance their careers? That doesn't sound much like the people and the government are one and the same to me. It sounds more like this overbearing government that invades people's work life and forces people to join the party with the fear that they might not be able to better themselves if they don't join. That's kind of like blackmail, isn't it? In China's military, like standing military, is like one point two or 1.3 million active duty members. Anybody that's saying that the Chinese people are under this great oppression and they could never overthrow their government and that, you know, they're always, anytime they try and protest or anytime they try and do anything, they're always shut down and, oh, it's so terrible here. It's all terrible, 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 terrible. It's like, no, if even a hundred million people, if all those people were like, eh, we don't want the government anymore, they would literally be able to overthrow the Chinese government. Now, the people might outnumber the government, but aren't they all just one in the same anyway? The point is, the Chinese government has completely destroyed any hope of change and reform the people might have. They control all media that is consumed by the average Chinese person and feed them this isn't the CCP great narrative. The Chinese people who might actually want to change things have a hard time coordinating any form of opposition because all social media is also controlled by the CCP. I remember when they banned Western social media such as Facebook because Chinese people were actually trying to organize protests there. Also, it's not very encouraging when people get disappeared by the government when they do actually get that rare opportunity to protest. For example, during China's ridiculous zero COVID lockdowns, many of those protesters were disappeared. Anybody that's saying that, you know, I love the Chinese people, but I hate the government, are basically saying I hate China. So, I don't know, what is, what is your thought? Do you think that China would be a better country if the if the CCP or the CPC was to be dissolved in, in, in some form of other government? Because again, this is what they're saying. Chinese government is awful for the Chinese people, and so therefore it essentially should be replaced. This is their argument. Yes, actually, I do think that the Chinese government should be replaced, and I do think there are far better governments out there. One government that just springs to mind when thinking about who could possibly replace the CCP and who would represent the Chinese people in the best way possible, and that government is the government of Taiwan. Imagine a China with free healthcare, freedom of press, freedom of speech, no ridiculous censorship, civil liberties, a democratically elected government, and most of all, with no CC bloody P. This shill has been busted.
在北京。我是通过，我爱通过。Louis Han is is a piece of shit. What? 好吃，好好吃。What? And you've got this Louis Han or Louis Han used to be a teacher in China. Now he's in Taiwan. Same thing. Anti-China, Wu Mao.、Uh, China sucks. China sucks. China sucks. China sucks. What? It could be a chocolate bar. It could be a chocolate bar. Choc 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 chocolate bar. E R Sansa. We are spreading communist party disinformation. Look, don't fall over one.、Uh, yeah. If you're in a country and you're making some content that a government likes or whatever, what's the problem with them reposting it? Money, 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 the money. You've got to watch out for the grave diggers. Eight hundred million people lifted out of absolute poverty. First off, I want to show you. You said wear the affiliated, state-affiliated badge as a,、uh, a badge of honor. I've actually had some made. I don't know if you can see that. Oh, how、They're、wonderful! Cool. What a great, great thing to do. You're a loser. That's money in the bank. Wow, that's a cool bus station. This is futuristic, man. Ah, this is what? Wow. 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 To support some homeless people. Interesting perspective. So, King, thank you so much. Appreciate you, it, my brother. All right. So, I'm gonna go see if I can find any homeless people here in China. I don't think I will be able to. My name is Jason, A.K. Complete Salah. Cyrus, how does it feel to betray your home country and support China? First off, I really have to show these statistics on how fast we are actually growing here and how amazing the support has been. But you all make it all worth it. Just for my first day here in Xinjiang, I highly doubt that all this false claims, claims about genocide against the Uyghurs. Not true, my friends. Listen, it's it's absolutely not true. Well, that's because there was no Tiananmen Square massacre. It's a lie. I should have reported you to the Chinese media and communications ministry, and I didn't to have mercy on you. But now I'm not having any mercy on you because you've just shown us once again you're a piece of shit. Yes, I contributed to the Communist Party. I contributed. To the different things that they do here, to、uh, help people and support people. <laughs> and、uh, for movies, got Gear Komodo's Yang.、Uh, too bad he doesn't have a personality. Guaylo Sixty's kind of a fool. <laughs> I feel like I feel like Lewis. He、uh, he goes hard, but、um, he still has some semblance of of, of right and wrong. What?